The Bills are 2 and 0, oh, baby. Hello brothers and sisters and welcome back to the channel. Week 2 of the 2019 NFL Centennial season is in the books. And that means we are on to week 3. And week 3 starts with some Thursday night football between the Tennessee Titans and the Jacksonville Jaguars. Both teams coming off of pretty heartbreaking losses in week two. Uh, the Titans lost by two to a Colts team that had a real chip on that has had a real chip on their shoulder uh, ever since they've essentially been written off by most league pundits after the retirement of Andrew Luck. Whereas the Jaguars in the first NFL start of Garner Minchu the third had a chance to win it late in the game for Jacksonville, but Leonard Fournette could not convert on a two-point conversion, and the Jaguars fall to the Texans 13-12. to Tennessee pretty much confirmed all of my doubts that I had th that I had about them coming into this game and into this season, really. And that was that I had doubts that they'd be able to put together great games consistently week in and week out, especially on offense. Mariota has not shown the consistency that you really want to see from your top from your franchise quarterback through what is it now four years as, as, as the signal caller that's not a good sign for the titans and like i said last week he's in his la this is probably his last chance to prove that he's worthy of that number one overall pick and he's not off to a great start in this season aj brown who looked last week against the browns like the explosive deep threat that this team needed was an absolute non-factor in their game against the Colts. Adam Humphreys has been invisible as the slot receiver. I didn't even know he was on the team until I found that out just a couple days ago. And it's games like that against the Colts that make it very difficult for me to pick the Titans in any game because you never know which Titans team you're going to get week after week. The Jaguars, on the other hand, had a fairly solid bounce-back game on defense after getting smoked by Patrick Mahomes and the Kansas City Chiefs. Uh, the defense can't really take any blame for that loss. When you hold a team to 13 points in a game, you should really you should really win that game. Garner Minshew, uh, for as well as he moved the ball between the numbers, was unable to put any points on the board for Jackson for the Jacksonville Jaguars. Although cre credit where it's due, DJ Chark had another pretty strong game against the Texans last week. Leonard Fournette looks like a shell of the player that he was in his rookie season. While I said Garner Minshew didn't have a bad game, he was under pressure a lot in that game. He got sacked four times, three of them were strip sacks, and one of them resulted in a turnover. So that's not good for the Jacksonville offense when you have a rookie quarterback start when you have a rookie sixth round pick starting at quarterback. The number one thing that you got to do is protect him, and they did not do that against the Houston Texans. Minshew also missed some pretty open receivers, one of which uh, could have easily gone for six if he could just hit Fournette on a wheel route out the backfield. I do not think this team is going anywhere with Minshew as their full-time starter, and the longer that they are forced to start him, the less of a chance I think this team has of really doing anything this season. And you couple that with what's going on on defense, Jalen Ramsey uh, got into a confrontation with uh, head coach Doug Marone on the sidelines during the game. He had to be held back from his head coach, which is never something you want to see on a sports team. And reports coming out of that game is that Jalen Ramsey has requested a trade, and the latest reports that I've been hearing around the league is that the Jaguars are looking to accommodate him, and from what I've heard, they're pretty close to striking a deal somewhere, probably as early as this week, so it's going to be a, it's going to be a question mark of if J, Jalen Ramsey is even still a Jaguar for this Thursday night game. This season is really getting away from the Jaguars really quickly. I mean, things are I mean, it's a, it's we, we're going into week 3 and things are already starting to unravel for this team. 
And I think the Titans, for all of their issues, have the talent to take advantage of a Jacksonville team, and specifically a defense that is absolutely on the brink of collapse. And the Tennessee pass rush led by Cameron Wake is going to have a field day against Garner Minshew if his O-line plays the way they did against Houston. That being said, I think this is another low-scoring game. Uh, AFC South games usually are. uh, And I think Jacksonville's defense... Could potentially play well enough to keep them in this game, but with all the off-field drama that's going on, uh, it's really hard to pick them in any game this week. And I think the Tennessee Titans are going to win this game. I do not like the way things are trending for the Jaguars right now, with Garner Minshew having to be their starting quarterback. I was never on board with that, with the Gardner Minshew hype train of a week ago, by the way, but everybody was in love with him for whatever reason. And that O-line and the fact that players and coaches are getting into confrontations during game, it's shaping up to be another miserable season for this Jaguars team if things keep going this way. And that's all, and that's about all I have to say about the Thursday night football game. Uh, Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Who do you think gets the win? And then make sure you stay tuned to the channel on Saturday. I will be uploading my full video predicting and breaking down all of the Sunday games all the way into Monday Night Football. So keep your eye out for that. Have a blessed week. And as always, we'll see you in the next video. And for this outro, we're saying, Go Bills!